missed you like you always do. Hold my hand and I'll be in the Hello, so welcome to my video. Hello, tell you how I feel. Hi guys, in today's video I will share a day in my life where I will share how I manage my household responsibilities of being a homemaker, keep kids entertained as they are home due to lockdown and manage to do my YouTube work from home. One may think it's a lot, but with proper time management and planning, I think I'm able to manage it so far. It does get overwhelming sometimes, but as you will see that my husband is my backbone and he really pitch in to take care of kids once he's back from work and over the weekends as well. I will also share how we keep kids entertained and teach them at home. So let's get started with the video. I'm filming this video on Friday, so being a weekday and being alone with kids at home, I will keep meals very simple and quick. So let's start with breakfast first. I have garlic herb toast on plate along with some masala rice and store-bought hummus and few pieces of pear. It took me less than 15 minutes to put this breakfast together. Last weekend, I made herb garlic butter and I had that in my fridge. I will share the recipe in some future video. Rice is leftover from last night. Also, kitchen was cleaned thoroughly last night itself, so it took me around 15 to 20 minutes to tidy up kitchen after breakfast. Now so that our tummy is full and we still have few hours before lunch, I will take this opportunity to work a little on my YouTube work. I will either film or script depending on what is required and kids will free play now. They like to sit and play with me all the time just like weekends but I have set this boundary for them that after breakfast mama will work for at least an hour and if they play well and they do not come to me which they do and do not fight which they do then we will either go to the park or play at home depending on the weather but they're getting better at playing together or shall i say without me these days so right now kids are pretending to be doctor here and treating their soft toys there are few patients in the room and few in the waiting room isn't that cute i came here to show you guys what they are playing but if i am here any longer they will stop playing and seek my attention so i do not want to disrupt their playing never disrupt playing kids it's like calling trouble on your own so i gotta go but i will keep camera on stand to capture what they are doing meanwhile i will finish Finish my script. I have to do voiceover tonight after kids go to their bed. Now the Kushuna patients che. Ah, but then it's who to che. Okay, chalo. So me treat karo. Mama editing karwa jaye chalo. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you later. So kids have been good today. It doesn't happen always but it just happened to be a good day today and they played a lot and I am sure they will be hungry. So I will go and cook some lunch. I had made dal chawal last night and I purposely made a little bit more so I can use it today. So I have already used leftover rice in the breakfast and now I will use the leftover dal to make dal dhokli. Kids love to eat dal dhokli with fryams. Now it's afternoon and I will start to prep for dinner as post dinner there is a lot of cleaning because I'm planning for next day by keeping my kitchen clean. So I like to start early in the afternoon. Kids are swinging and I am sitting on the platform cutting green beans. Later we all will take shower and get ready for the day. 
I know it's a bit late, but because it's so cold, we prefer to do it in the afternoon than in the mornings. Dad, just work on tools, and Dad, work on office, Mom, work on editing, and then Mom, work on cooking. That's why that is the one. Get the different things, you know, different things of a two each other. Up next, we have to learn the words that you see. Oh, it's next today. Now it's late afternoon and our snack time and I will cut some salad for all three of us and we will sit and chat and learn new things. I will also show you how Dhyani and I play letter game. It's an activity that develops right brain which we should all focus till our kids turn 6 years of age. Let me give you an example. Ask your child to think of 5 words that start with letter T. It's difficult for them to think even 3, isn't it? Now count how many T words can you count in the scenario that Dhyani will narrate now. Can you uh, tell me T story? Okay. T story! T -t Once upon a time, there was a clan. Hmm. She lived in the lake. Hmm. And then one day she was traveling in the tunnel. Hmm. And then the baby was passing by. There were lots of trees, and then in the tree was a tiger. And she got scared. Yuck. And she hid behind the toilet. She saw and the Tell the story first. And then she touched the tap and then she washed her hand. And then she got hungry. She licked the ice cream with her tongue and ate a yummy food. And then her mom drank tea from the teapot. Ooh, then. And they traveled happily. And they traveled happily. <laughs> Good job, Diani. And you have a tea story. Do you want to say S story or later? Later. Okay, fine. Did you count? How many? Leave your answers in the comment section below. So this is how you can play with kids. You can make up some scenarios. Uh, sometimes we would do sand on sand castle, sun, sunny day, sea waves, things like that. You just have to think of words and make up a story and your child will definitely remember a lot of words. It also develops their vocabulary. So it's a win-win. A left brain person is considered to be more logical, objective and analytical while a right brain is said to be more expressive, creative and intuitive. Right side of the brain controls the visualization ability which also controls the photographic memory ability. It also helps a child process information quickly. You can google right brain activities for toddlers and there are heaps of them. I know you've done your part. It's not fair. You did your time. Once upon a time, there was one Gipoto. He didn't have any family. One day, he was walking to the woods and then he saw one wooden chips. And then, after the wooden chips, he made a puppet. Pinocchio, he named him Pinocchio. Pinocchio was a very naughty boy. He ran out of his house. The Gepetto tried to catch him, but the policeman stopped him. The fox and the cat had a plan. If you give me the money, we will plant it in a magic field, and then you too can have money too. You can pick the money up whenever you need it. And then, after taking the money, fox and the cat quickly ran away. Gepetto wandered all levels, wondering where Pinocchio was. And then they both reached home. The fairy saw what a good boy Pinocchio was and started to give him a prize. End of the page. <laughs> you get up! High five! You did a very good job. High five! Did you story give me? Yeah! Yeah! Mm. Mm. 
वीरे डैडी ने क्यूटू फेस करीदे मम्मा ने क्यूटी पप्पी करीदे Now, as promised that I will play with kids, I will now play catch with Dhyani, and Kushang wants to do puzzle. So I will play a little with them before resuming to my work. I have made the sabzi already for tonight and also made the dough. So dinner is sorted. Kitchen I will clean when my husband is playing with kids. तू छे क्यों एकली भागू छो? क्या छे? I can't see you. Behind me. Look. Are you catching me? Yes. Yes. One more time. Thodi dheer mein bhag ja slowly. Mama, I can catch you otherwise. Did everything that you thought you should. Did it seem to do you any good? We have been working on this puzzle since few days now. This was a big puzzle like 100 piece puzzle so it took us few days to complete. Whenever we would get tired I would simply tell them that we will do a little bit every day till we get there. This is exactly how I function in my personal life too. I would start a project and slowly and steadily work on it till I reach the finish line. Can I try so hard? Each video for me is a project. I will work on it little by little till I finish the task on hand. I have my focus on this main goal that I have set for myself. But definitely, I will multitask throughout the day and take enough breaks to get other stuff done around the house too. Kids, by the way, are coming to me to ask if I'm done for the day, and I finally draw the line here for the day. As long as work is concerned, if I'm tired, sometimes I prefer to sleep in afternoon and continue working at night after kids go to bed. So I do not have any schedule of work. I just somehow manage it here and there. But I'm happy that I could work from home and keep kids safe with me at this unsafe time. I do not miss or. regret leaving my ca job a day in my life as i'm enjoying what i do and never feel like working a day in my life kids want some screen time but i told them to clean up first so here we are cleaning the room that they messed up in the morning if i don't tell them to clean they will never do so it's my job to tell them and to be on their back the reward here is tv time which they would have got anyways but don't give up I give kids guilt-free TV time as they do activities on Kidloland. It's a very nice app. I have actually done a collab video with them in past, but this isn't a collab video. I genuinely like this app. Kids get their screen time, and I get satisfied that they learn something new. Here, Dhyani is doing additions. There are heaps of other activities in this app too. My husband also sits and spends time teaching kids maths, coding. educational games etc on kidloland i focus on coloring stories etc basically we focus on the areas as per our liking but surely kids get benefited from both of us i still recall the first time i saw you i was so nervous to talk so fast went from so lonely to falling asleep in your arms i used to be afraid to fall in love my past relationship was a disaster Every night while kids are busy with football I take this opportunity to put up some laundry to dry fold laundry put them back in the wardrobes 
thoroughly clean my kitchen as this will save me significant time next morning and in morning i have to do it with kids so why not do it now when kids are not around so i have quite busy evenings as i do more of household chores especially the days i'm working I do take break from YouTube work for entire day and that day routine would be different. Weekends are different again as I do a lot of filming and cooking and spending time with family. So each day pretty much is very different but I'm happy that I get something accomplished each day. It gives me immense satisfaction and happiness. But now I don't care cuz you too my scars bruises and broken heart numbed all the pain show me how to we are in middle of july which is the coldest month in sydney and look how cold tap water is it seems it's straight out of the fridge so i will add some hot water to this so that kids don't get sore throat Now finally stay at home working mommy duties are over and I can relax and sit with kids or go to bed but before going to bed my husband has a routine name the planets mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus neptune pluto mm so the biggest planet jupiter achhi sauthi sun ni sauthi close kayo planet chhe mercury रेड प्लानेट क्या दीकली चलो हम लेट्स लुक एट हनी बी फेमिली दाचू पड़ो न बाहू करे खुश खुश तू मैंने के गिल of not spending enough time with kids as he makes up my part as well so i am editing here and dhani is playing not playing actually she is kind of studying isn't Nine. it oh you already got the answer chalo to 4 plus 5 equals 9 pick 9 out ah good job 4 plus 5 equals 9
Sometimes I would sit with them and do my work and keep them busy doing something. For instance, Dhyan is working on maths using this maths game that actually I bought from Amazon India a few years ago. I don't even remember the name of this game, what it is, but I think it's maths stick, wooden stick, something. I don't know. You can Google that. Um, I don't know what it is. We used to play with sticks before, which is part of the game itself. But now Dhyani does not need sticks as she calculates using her fingers. But Kushang does with sticks these days. Chalo, account karo. Kitli sticks hai? One, two, three. Good job. Have hun aama thodi kaji add karu chho, okay? Have count karo. Total kitli chhe? One, two, three, four. Five. Good job. Away five mati who one minus curry low chuto. Have a kitli check out One, two, three, four. four. Good job. Have a home. Haji four mati two minus curry low. How many left? Two. Two, three. Now, beta, for it count kar. One, two. Ah, very nice. You're always there to guide me. Last but not the least, we play hide and seek with kids and it's so much fun. Here is an innovative version of playing hide and seek with kids, hiking torch light. We turn entire house lights off and daddy hides and kids find him in dark, turning their torch lights on. I was filming today so I did not hide but usually I do. Just 10 minutes we play but we laugh and enjoy so much like crazy. I hope you found answer to how I manage work whether it be house or YouTube with kids and how we manage to teach them or keep them entertained as well. Where is Apra daddy? Where is Apra Kutu daddy? Where is he? Where? On an ending note, if you spend dedicated time with kids here and there, they tend to behave well as the love and attention bucket is being constantly filled. So if your kid is misbehaving, ask yourself if you give them love and attention, dedicated time that they are asking for. On that note, I will sign off and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now. I used to be afraid. Till I met you, I was insecure